Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good morning, everyone. Uh, I'd like to start with uh, Dr. Redfield. Uh, doctor, we had a conversation on the weekend, and uh, I expressed to you uh, really my dismay, my disappointment uh, about um, you as CDC director, uh, the most prestigious institution in the world on infectious diseases and uh, prevention. Uh, the United States today uh, is number one, number one in the world in infections and in deaths. This is not anything that any of us can be proud of. The American people are in pain, they're grieving, there's a great deal of sorrow in communities. There's confusion uh, because uh, for many reasons. And I urged you as head of CDC to speak directly to the American people. I know the agencies are talking to each other. I consider that a whisper because the American people are not hearing you speak out. They deserve to hear the truth. We have heard Dr. Fauci time and time again putting out trusted information to the American people. The American people are divided on this issue of the, of the virus. Imagine that. So I continue to urge you to speak out. You're a doctor. Put your white jacket on and speak weekly to the American people. They want to know What's coming? What is ahead? My constituents ask me on a consistent basis, what's next? What is our government doing? That's a haunting question. And so while we're doing the nice back and forth this morning, good questions on the part of members, uh, I really remain dismayed and uh, uh, deeply disappointed. We need leadership coming out of the CDC real leadership. It was an outrage that there was a gathering in Tulsa. Six of the president's advanced people were infected. And it's my understanding the two Secret Service agents were. How can the CDC allow uh, this, this pandemic, this virus, to be something political? You have to push back. You're a scientist, you're a doctor. Now to Dr. Hahn, uh, I'm sure you've read the several articles regarding uh, hydroxychloroquine. Every study states it doesn't work in any setting. In fact, it has known uh, side effects, uh, uh, cardiac issues being one. So there's a danger in terms of the side effects. Uh, as commissioner, you see all the data. Are you going to inform the American people doctors across the country about these facts. Thank you, Congresswoman, for that question. And um, indeed we are. I, I can refer the, the uh, committee to several documents that we have put out over the last several weeks regarding hydroxychloroquine. With respect to the issues, we issued a safety alert, particularly around the combination of hydroxychloroquine with an, other drugs that might affect the heart. Um, and as you know, we've taken recent, uh, recent action regarding have the EUA. You, have you specifically, have you specifically spoken directly to the American people? So there isn't this confusion about hydroxychloroquine? Yes, ma'am. Um, there is an FDA Voices piece that's authored by me, as well as a piece that's directly to the American people about the status of hydroxychloroquine. No, that's I want to know if you have speaking, spoken out verbally to the American people, to doctors across the country. I, I, I don't, people don't hear paper with all due respect. Yes, ma'am, and I appreciate the question, but um, every opportunity I've had to be in the media, I've been asked that question and I have communicated that same information about okay, the current status. I, I have another question, Dr. Hahn. There have been several disturbing articles expressing concerns relative to political pressure being placed on the FDA uh, by the White House. Will you state unequivocally that if any political pressure 
is applied to you and the FDA, that you will immediately report that to this committee. I, I will certainly unequivocally state that if I receive political pressure, I will report to this committee. I can tell you that I have not felt political pressure, nor has the FDA, to make any decision in any specific direction. Thank you. Well, it's not about feelings. It's about a direct uh, 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 political pressure. So uh, thank you for your response and back. 